Real Country 1430 AM and 107.3 FM WRDN. I'm Brian Wunnikins, and joining us today is uh, Brett Bell. He's Executive Vice President of Ag Sales for Anuvia. And I had a chance to talk with uh, Mike, or Brett rather, during the NAFB convention. And thank you to our convention sponsors, including Wisconsin Corn Growers, Animal Wellness Center of Buffalo Valley, Osseoplastics, also Wisconsin Farmers Union, Anibis Silo, and Compere Financial. And Brett, um, Anuvia is new. And so tell us a little bit about Anuvia. Brian, thanks for your time today. And Anuvia actually stands for a new way. And that's why the company was named the way it is. It's an ag tech startup based in Florida that specializes in developing sustainable products for large scale agriculture. So think the larger row crops, corn, for instance, cotton, rice, wheat, sugar beets are crops that are strategic to Anuvia. We've been around for about five years. Um, we're recently in the process of moving our production from a pilot plant in Zellwood, Florida to a large scale commercial fertilizer granulation facility in Plant City, Florida that's owned by Mosaic. So that's about a year in the making. We invested about $50 million into that plant to integrate the Anuvia technology and we're bringing it online right now. So Brett, these, this plant nutrition and there it's, it's a bio-based type of product. Here in Western Wisconsin, we do have some issues with high nitrate levels. We have very sandy soil in a lot of locations. We have some karst uh, tech, um, um, uh, geographic areas as well. How can the products from Anuvia help maybe lower some of those levels? So on that particular instance, Brian, we have two products. Um, one is more of a nitrogen sulfur and another one's more of a, a nitrogen phosphorus sulfur. And you asked a lot in that question, but regardless of the product, the way Simtrax and or Sistera is produced, it's an enhanced efficiency fertilizer and because of the way it's made, it's slower release. So it retains those nutrients in the soil longer, less leaching which all also translates into higher yields. In addition to that, soil health is a topic that a lot of people are talking about now. It's a topic I've discussed a lot today. And Anuvia's products deliver in the soil health category. Very simply stated, we, we use organic, recycled organic material when we make these products. And as a result, we're putting 8% carbon and 16% organic matter back into the soil that feeds the microbiome in addition to the basic nutrients that are used around growing crops, nitrogen, sulfur, and phosphorus that feeds the plant. So we're feeding the plant and we're feeding the soil, and that's where the soil health benefits come from. I would think then for our area, especially with those that have that uh, lighter soil, those sandier soils, um, that would be a huge benefit to have that extra organic matter in. And does that extra organic matter help then even those producers that have to do a little irrigation, maybe to hold some of that water in? I realize it may not be like I'm putting out the traditional manure, but I, would, would that help with that? It's more around feeding the microbiome, Brian, because it's 16 pounds per hundred and you're not gonna amend the soil. It's not a soil amendment from that standpoint. It's more around feeding the microbiome, which you can do with that level of organic matter and carbon. So it's more around that and less around actually raising your organic matter in the soil. So with that then, that by raising that organic matter, then it, how will it make this, this, the soil healthier? Back to the microbiome, the, the soil microbes, they need to be fed just like crops need to be fed. And when you reintroduce carbon and you reintroduce the, the types of organic matter that comes with Simtrex 20S, it's actually feeding that microbiome. And does that microbiome then help the plant be able to get some of these nutrients? I, if, I'm, if I remember some of this correctly from our, our extension agent, who's a soil scientist, am I correct on that? So I'm not a soil scientist, Brian, so I don't want to overextend here. I think it's, it's safe enough to say that the carbon and the organic matter feed the soil microbes, make it for healthier soil, happier soil, which should make for happier, healthier crops. And so, Brett, with when producers want to use this? Is there a certain like uh, application rate that they have to follow or can do they have to do soil sampling first and then attach the application rate to that soil sample? 
So, so being a, a lifelong agronomy guy myself, I always encourage soil samples so you know what you're putting on, you put on the right amount. Um, wouldn't be necessary, but I would encourage that. You know, their average rate, Brian, for Simtrex 20S is about 125 pounds an acre, which will get you about 25 pounds of sulfur, I'll get you 17, 18 pounds of nitrogen, um, and a little bit of phosphorus, not much, but that's what comes with that. And the other thing that's nice about Simtrex 20S, Brian, it's the same equipment that's used today. You don't need special equipment. You don't need special storage facilities. You use everything that's readily available on the market today. And that makes it much more convenient for the farmer to utilize in their current practices. We are talking with uh, Brett Bell. He's executive vice president of ag sales with Anuvia. And Brett, if producers want more information, how can they find out more? A couple of things they can do, Brian. They can go to anuviaplantnutrients.com. You'll find testimonials from producers that have used it. You'll find some of the research. You'll, you'll find a little bit about how the process works. And then you just need to ask your local ag retailer. Okay. And, and so the, 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 the products are all now pretty much available nationwide, or at least here in the upper Midwest? The products are available nationwide. We're still building out our distribution force. We do go through retail. So the best thing a farmer can do is either reach out via the web or go through their local retailer to try to find the product. All right, Brett, again, we appreciate you joining us today. That's Brett Bell, Executive Vice President of Ag Sales with Anuvia. We had a chance to talk with Brett during the NAFB convention. I'm Brian Winnikins on Real Country 1430 AM and 107.3 FM WRDN.